Merry Midnight, boys and girls, and everyone in between. This is Mom coming to you from the night shift. Welcome to my very first video ever. Later, I'll be playing some games I've never played before on my channel, which my kids tell me is hilarious to watch, so maybe you'll think so too. We'll see. But if you can think of any games a 42-year-old mother of five should try, let me know in the comments. I'm up for almost anything. Almost. Be good. For now, though, I'm going to play one I do know, my very favorite game of all time, and probably one you know pretty well, too, unless you live under a rock, in which case, how are you watching this? And how do worms taste, by the way? Anyway, the game is, of course, Skyrim. But because I know the game, I wanted to do something different. Have you heard of mods? They're these really fun add-ons to games that... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not that obtuse. I'm pretty sure you know what a mod is. Anyway, this particular mod I'm going to play is a DLC level that I've never played before, nor have I ever seen it. I'm going off the description to assume I'll like it, and then jumping in without a parachute. Wait, do they have parachutes in Skyrim? Sorry, I forgot to tell you, I'm a mom with ADHD. I'm not even kidding. But I digress. I'm going to play Carved Brink, which sounds like a lot of fun. Here's the description. Welcome to the Faceted Stones, one of the many Daedric pocket planes hidden throughout Oblivion. Many years ago, I was inhabited, or I was inhabited, many years ago, it was inhabited by snow elves, but now this place belongs to another race, Goblin. Embark on an adventure for treasure, make unusual acquaintances, and be tested in the trials of the Daedra. Ooh, Daedra. So, it's got snow elves, and goblins, and Daedra, well, maybe not snow elves, but like before, like snow elf ruins and stuff, which is kind of like a Dwemer ruin quest, I think, but more Daedric and style? I don't know, but I'm totally down with seeing what this thing looks like because it sounds really cool. So I'm going to play this with my wood elf, Vela. She's a level 26 right now, so not a total noob, but still high enough to kick some goblin tail, which I'm guessing we're going to have to do. We're starting from Midwood Isle, and that's another DLC mod that I've been playing a lot, and that's why I'm not doing it here, but that's also why I'm starting there, because she was that's what I was playing before this. Anyway, for anyone interested in Midwood Isle, though, here is its info, because I believe in giving credit where it's due. Of course, the credit for Carved Brink itself is in the description below, because that's, you know, the whole video. Anyway, uh, how do we start Carved Brink? Speaking of Carved Brink, let's see. Just reach level 10 and visit Abandoned Grotto near Hilgrin's Tomb and Lost Knife Hideout. Check the map for a marker. Okay, well then, uh, so the marker should already be on the map. Let's check it and see. Go to Skyrim. Oh, I'm over encumbered. That is not acceptable. Let's see. 381 out of 390. I am not over encumbered. Why did it say I was? And oh, there's. I have. I do have Shadow Mirror with me, so I'm going to get on Shadow Mirror. Okay, let's try that again. Skyrim, yes. So we have to go to Skyrim. All right, here we're at Skyrim. Now, because it said I was over encumbered, even though I'm that much, it's still pretty close to being over-encumbered, and nobody wants to go into a new adventure over-encumbered. So I'm going to take a little bit of a side run right now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Solitude. And this is another mod that I found, and it's literally, at the moment, my very favorite mod. I love this mod. It's Bandit's Retreat, I believe. I'm going to make sure of that. You'll see. But I'm going to put that information right here while I'm running to it for this mod. And this is just a small little mod. It's a player home mod. But it's my favorite player home. It's awesome. Now, if you want to adopt kids, this isn't a good player home for you. But, oh, it's the foxhole. That's what it's called. But if you're not adopting kids, this is amazing. This, this mod is awesome. So I want to show you kind of around a little bit before we get to the brink one. Because... I need to drop some stuff off, and it's cool to show you my home. Welcome to my home. My name is Vela, <laughs> and I am a wood elf and kind of badass. See, I'm kind of badass. Anyway, of course, everybody in Skyrim's badass. So this is my my home. It's really cool. <laughs> We've got the little little guy here. My little I'm calling him Poe because I'm that creative. He's a raven, obviously. And there's just all sorts of stuff here, but most of it is just aesthetics. So you'll see, you know, you can't get the pear, you can't really do the books. There's a Stone of Berenziah, can't get that, can't 
do that. You can't touch most of these things. You can't actually pick them up or anything. But they're really cool aesthetics, and I, I'm just seriously impressed by this little place. It's just a little place, but I love it. I love this place. So this is the bed, right? And just, like, really cool. So I'm going to dump my stuff, the stuff that I don't want. And when I do that, I'm going to fast forward through that because nobody wants to watch that. But I wanted to show you this kind of awesome, look at that, look at that. isn't she cool? I love her. Anyway, so I'm just going to drop things and hide them in my, in my cubby hole. So we're going to start with the potion cabinet. And the reason we're starting with the potion cabinet is because I'm going to speed up here in a second. But first I want to show you something that's really cool. One of the things you'll learn about me is I cheat whenever possible. I am the cheating mom. Sorry, it's just how it is. My kid, he's 16, he says, Mom, why are you cheating so much? Because I've played Skyrim for so many years already. This is the beginning of my fun time, okay? <laughs> I just started doing PC versions, so I just found console commands and all of that fun stuff. So I am cheating, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So this is a poison of damage health. As you can see, it causes 1,040 points of damage. Decreases the target's magic regeneration by 100%. So it's a really cool <laughs> damage health potion. I've got a bunch of those. And the way that I did that is, again, I just cheated. You know, the Darwin root is the root that Astrid gives you to kill the Emperor, right? When you're in the Dark Brotherhood. Well, it will make a poison like this if you keep it and just make a poison. It'll make a poison that's this strong. Well, I just went into the console commands and pulled up 50 Darn Root and mixed them with some Death Bell and some Crimson Nurn Root. And I just made a bunch of these. So that's how I cheated. Now we're going to speed up the video uh, while I get rid of all this stuff. And then we'll move on. Shadow mirror. Where is it? Now this is something that I do because I get lost easily. So I'll go to, you know, you know how you have to travel from where you've been to where you haven't. That makes sense. So I'll go right after it and place a marker right after it, so I can go to it and I know that that's the marker that it is. So because it's blue, so it's an easy marker to follow. So it's this way. Oh, good wall. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to go around that. But um, but um. Last night's hideout, where are you? Hello, Khajiit. Raska understands Rizwindar. I'm not a big fan of Khajiit. Rizwindar will show you. never been a cat person. And I just don't like their personality. Who are you? Who are you? To retrieve all these precious gifts. Mm -hmm. will pay with jingling coins. Raska does Balmar, not upset huh? Rizwindar, yes? Raska should hasten. This one hears. This one understands. Hmm. This one will run faster than the wind. What are you guys doing? Huh? Down oh, by them. hello. And glorious Khajiit. So, Rhys, Rhys Mundar, what are you doing? Khajiit are not present for mischief, Down by them. Rhys Mundar and Mindari are here for trade with Nords and the friends. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned the Thalmor. Thalmor? Rhys Mundar knows of Thalmor. Thalmor. 
That is the friendship with Risu and Dar. Highly. And Risu and Dar reciprocates these. Wow. I mean, I knew that. These are the bylaws of the Bandari. I mean, I knew Khajiit did the thing a lot, but you are just ridiculous with it. So, what's a Bandari? Down by there is not here the Bandari? No. Risu and Dar can it's explain. If Townbiter so Are wishes, town Bendari travel and trade with Townbiters. Mm -hmm. Even those who have no claws. I have no claws. I have claws. And Bendari wise women such as Mizildo here can see the future. Arr. With this, Risu and Dar always much. knows where a pretty good what is lies. What is with all of the R rolling, dude? If Tombider wants to know more, Tombider buys a book from Reese Windar. Tombider reads seen. as well as the word down more touches the ear, yes? I... I talked over you because I really can't understand what you're saying, so, uh, since you're not giving me the full picture, I will take that one. Reese Windar tells Tombider everything Tombider wants mm -hmm. to know. A Tombider calls him foul play after yes. that? This makes Risu and Dar oh, sad. So sad. Ah, but Risu and Dar has no evil in mind. Mm -hmm. Risu and Dar will forgive Dan by there if Dan Bader takes his moon sugar. What? Decide. You gave me moon sugar. What do I do with this moon sugar? Items. What is this moon sugar you gave me? Okay, I have a pretty high alchemy and. All of this is unknown to me, and it shouldn't be. Um, so, I don't know if I should trust this. Yeah, I'm not eating your freaking moon sugar, dude. Let's see. The sugar was tasty. What's next? That's a lie. I will try the sugar later. Let's talk first. How about the sugar was tasty? What's next? Ah, it doesn't give me that option. Why can't I click on this? Okay, I will try the sugar later then. Let's talk first. Oh, it doesn't give me... So I have to eat the sugar. You don't even give me an option. I have to eat this probably poison sugar. All right. Well, let's let's save this first. Okay. Now we're gonna eat the sugar because that's what I have to do. Foolish, foolish, Tanbiter. Tanbiter should know. Bendari always have the best goods in their possession. Okay. And if Dalimor asks Bandari to provide some sugar that kills, the sugar will kill. Ah, okay, so Dalimor I'm glad I does saved not it. want anyone to interfere with their when am I gonna die? This one thinks oh, Riswendar is too kind kill, to claw the town biders. You... This one thinks town bider has nothing to do here. Mm -hmm. I Should... think maybe you are going to attack me. So I have to do close-up attack. So let's do my damage health potion. Back to the town, yes. No. How about no? This one will help down by the on this, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, you're not talking. There we go. What are you doing? Abandoned grotto key. Nice. I like that. Code to the Bendari peddlers. What is that? Let's see if there's something... that I need to know in this book. Code of the Bendari Peddlers. The laws of the Bendari Code. Do not listen when town biters, oh, biters, B-I-D-E-R, like biting in a town. Okay, I thought he meant town biter, like I'm biting, biting a town to eat it, and I was so confused, okay. Uh, do not listen when town biters call you thief or charlatan or dishonorable. Such people are ignorant and insular and know not of anything beyond the borders of their own township. Dishonorable sooth, one is not dishonorable if one has a coded behavior that one lives by. And this is so for the Bendari. Bendari. Brr, lots of R's. Anyway, abide thus by our code. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like there's not really anything in here I need. So, we're going to get my dragon bone bow. Potion of damage health. Oh, it's already poison. Cool. And we're going to go follow these guys because I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. Unlock the abandoned grotto. Foolish, foolish 
Yeah, let's get you. Wow, they have some high health. Good friend leaves this man. A town fighter is a bad friend to race with us. Yes. For so it. Copish. 21 damage. Yeah, that's way less than mine. Oh, dude, I gotta. I have to heal myself and poison the bow again. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, that was pretty really easy. Note. Ooh, there's a note. There's the ebony copish. Mmm, still less damage than mine. Alright, is there anybody else around here that I need to worry about killing? No? Alright. Let's see what is in that note. Do not slander another child of the Bindari. Remind, remain mindful in all dealings. Remain mindful in all dealings. A gift must be returned in kind. A fair trade need not be fair only in gold. Truth and cleverness need not be enemies. Find what is lost, trade what is found, and leave what has no purpose. Hmm. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, but we're going to... Look, oh, ooh, there's a little cottage over there. What is the cottage? This place is crazy. Look at this. Oh, there's little some waterfalls. Lots of waterfalls. Dang. Are those are those waterfalls or they are. They're waterfalls going up. There are waterfalls going up. There's one going down, but there's waterfalls going up. This place is weird. What is that thing? I don't know. It's Creepy, but really cool looking, too. Okay, then. Let's see here. Got tanning rack. Hmm. Interesting. Up, up, up. Elf cap. I don't know why I took that. Oh, there's the door. All right. What are we doing in here? Ooh. Let's look around. We have an empty knapsack. Okay. Completed Inglorious Khajiit. So the Khajiits are gone. Thank you. Started an unexpected treasure. Ooh. Okay. Parker task, lantern. Ooh, a basement. Okay, we got a basement. Okay, that is a really cool alchemy lab. Look at that. That is that is something else. I've never seen this is like a super alchemy lab. Crazy. Ooh, Command Deidre. Definitely taking that. Let's see here. Lots of books. Goblets. There's nobody here though. I'm not seeing any bad guys on my marker. It's peaceful, actually. Empty wine bottles. Oh, there's an upstairs, too. Look at that. Hello, upstairs. Okay. Um, looks like a small place. I always take cheese. Stop. We're not taking... We always take cheese because it's cheese. We're, we're, I love cheese. What's back here? Weapon rack. Broom. Fire salts, a bed, nice. What in the key store? Okay, that's cool. I could put my keys in there. No, but this is not my home. Is it gonna be though? It looks like it could be a player home. That would be awesome. Player homes are awesome, especially new ones, and this is a really cool one. Okay. So let's look upstairs or down. Upstairs or downstairs? Pick one. See if you pick the one I pick. I think I'm going to go down first. We'll go down to the basement first. I swear, though, if there's a bunch of... Frostbite spiders or skeevers or something, I'm going to be... Well, I'm not seeing any of that. But... Ooh, it's a... Safe. It requires a key. I don't have a key, and it doesn't have, 
fish barrel. Carrots, okay. Oh, I can use the oven. Oh wait, there's, okay, there's mannequins. There, this has got to be a player home. What is this? Oh, you can't look into it. That's really cool though, I love the rainbowy look. What is that? Interesting. Okay. So it looks like this is all this is. We got a really big barrel here of something, but it doesn't look like I can do anything with that. Okay, well, that's all we have downstairs, so let's go upstairs. See what is upstairs. Open House of the Arcane Arts. All right. Well, this is another mannequin. Wow, this just, it kind of reminds me of Mist. You remember Mist? Mist and Riven. Those were fun. The map, Skyrim. I like it. I like it. But there's anything, there's nothing really marked on the map. Altmer Adventure Glove. Ooh, what are those? I don't have any of those. I've never seen of those before. No, they don't do anything. Hmm. Oh, they look like they'd be cool to wear, though. I think I'm going to keep them and enchant them later. Oh, hey! We know who he is. He's the Gray Fox. Interesting. We've got a desk here. Inkwell, strong box. Of course, the arcane enchanter and a statuette. <gasps> Oi! Hey, yeah! Uh, good looking. Oh, Fine, Maza. That scared me. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Let's have what a talk. What in the world are you? Have a talk. Talk to the clam. What the? What clam? I don't see a clam. Wait. What are you? Activate imp. Okay. Me waiting. Are you stuck in that shell? Why are you talking to me? Sorry, I got things to do. <laughs> well, I want to talk. Are you stuck in that shell? Hey, good looking. Good Check looking. Sinclair, me is Well, a thank shell. you. I think I'm good looking too. <laughs> but uh, I missed out. This happened because Simi Aaron. Well. Let me oh. put it this way. The elf decided keeping me in the cage was a smart thing to do. And go missing to charm at those we have. Smart as well. So it goes, good looking. Let's hope be a silly, good looking fizz won't let you do something like that. So this elf, Sumerian, put you in a cage and took off. Well, I mean, I'm going to say maybe you deserve to be in a cage. Why are you talking to me? Are you a good-looking type, not smart hey. enough? All right, good-looking. Let me cut you some slack. I don't Still, know if I'm do you see insulted you or complimented. To? Well, maybe chortling and rapturing glee if me be able to go and check by myself. Hey. And uh, shove me a mud crab up, Michelle, if me can do it stay in there. I don't shove a mud crab. Okay, sorry, I've got things to do. Wait, 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 let, let, let's make a deal. Uh, you get me out of this cage, then you and I, all happy and satisfied, go about our business. From uh, well, what me sees on your face, you don't work for free, no. are ya? Well, um, uh, let me say, me knows a bunch of good, good stuff. stuff. An exact location. Uh -huh. What do you think? Um, I mean, I'm going to help you because... I don't think I can continue this quest without it, so all right, I'll help you. Good to go, good looking. Whoa, you you have a little eye there, dude. Um, let's see. This place does not look abandoned. This is a kind of magic, magic. Oh, magic. Uh, me here for two thousand years, or a thousand. Frankly, no clue. Too hard to count days when not the curse. Okay. Looking for a place to place your good-looking bones? Me thinks Simiaren won't show up for some time, so here's this place. Have it. Oh, so it is a player home. Yes, I will totally use this. Uh, what are you? Ah, well, 
Let's uh, uh, pretend me talks to a kid. I, uh, Miss a shell. Ain't seen many talking shell before, no. have ya? Well, that's your flaw, <laughs> not mine. Name's Imp. Savvy enough? Each turd us. Me was drinking oh, with right. Oh. Uh, ever met I love Chiagora? him. Nice lad. Yes, he is. But uh, still. Uh, sitting on them shiverings, me were. Uh, no drinking since uh, no turd us, you see. Uh, Twas uh, Fred us, if me recalls correctly, right? Moving stones much. Talking with them using mud crab much. And the what? Bang. Ain't no sun shining. It's seen me Aaron shining his shiny smile. Then the elves grabbing me, waves back to the mud crab, and leaves. For good. Well, that's not nice. Wait, waves back to whom? The mud crab, me tells ya. No wonder he's all sad after that. Me, me bet he even wrote a eulogy in the local paper. Twas long ago, after all. Me wonders where he now and what he do. Me won't be surprised if he be in a place none will expect. Okay. Um. Wow. There's a lot of questions here. Shiverings. What is it? Well, I know what the Shivering Isles are. You mentioned Shiagorath, so I don't need to ask that. I love Shiagorath. He's my favorite Daedric prince. Um. Can you be more specific? Uh, who is Sumerian? Who is the amusing mud crab? I'm gonna say. Can you be more specific? Now you keep this in mind. Everything he says is specific. You just need to find out specific on oh. what. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, there's some more stuff. Um, what are your thoughts on the Empire and the Stormcloaks? Do you know anything about the Dova King? Ooh, I want to see if you know about me. Ah, uh, so these were in Alessian order times. These Marukati selectives, lads and lasses. Them gathering in the tower, trying these dance moves. Dance moves? Huh? Uh, so, sorry, uh, me distracted. N I don't happen to know much about these uh, Dova but now. Should we fix this? Oh, you don't, you don't know. Oh, there's another one. Who is Charmat? Shivering to a Sumerian who is amusing mud crab. You know what? Okay, Sumerian. I should probably know who the guy is that owned this place before me, right? Simiaransan Altmer lad. Uh, what is about? So, good looking. Let me put it this way. He's about uh, sorcery, stealing magical creatures of great like importance, you. wandering pocket Interesting. Planes. And uh, capturing these for his own purposes. All right, I can see that. Yeah, need more, ain't ya? Well, why don't you look for a diary? This kind oh, of oh, there's a couple. diary. Me bet you draw something fruitful from it. Okay. Um. Let's see. Who is the amusing mud crab? I'm curious about that. Why? Good looking. Why me has to explain things to you over and over again? The amusing mud crab is a mad crab. A mad see? crab. And he's amusing. Okay. <laughs> Me and his are pals with each other because we both be well versed in funny tales and love sharing them with each other. Well, you're both amusing. Me. So usually writing this down he is good for remembering. Uh, you see? Okay, so he writes books. I like writing books. Sounds like a cool, cool guy to me. Let's see, who is Charmat? Charmat, a, a nice fella he were. Ma I weren't able to find good friends though. Yeah, you yeah, better learn all his mistakes. Find them best friends. Super best what? friends. I, I have no idea what that meant. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts on the Empire and Stormcloaks? This be a funny story of some kind. Popular nowadays in them taverns. You're not trying to catch me on this, are you? Good looking. Me tells you, me spent a notable time in this oh. age. Don't know much about today's popular Okay, that makes lines. sense. Um, I know what the Shivering Isles are, so. Have a nice day. I said I need again. to look for a journal. I did admit earlier that I am a cheater. 
So we're going to show off my cheating. Let's see if I can unlock this with the console command. Nope. There we go. Unlock safe. All right, let's go. Whoa. What the? What the heck just... I, I'm in the safe. I'm literally in the safe. Oh, wow, this is crazy. I am, <gasps> there's the journal. I'm gonna take that spell tome. Following has been recorded by Cimmerian of Shimmerine, whom by his right belongs to the most ancient kin of Altmer, titled as the last keeper of the Torhe Card Sanctuary, also the beloved son of, Ari son of Ariel, as well as the brightest and cleverest heir to many lands, the brilliant mind, the talented rhetoric, etc., etc. Wow, he is full of himself. Before beginning my current experiment, I decided to start diarizing my endeavors. Because as you know, every genius magician diarizes their endeavors while attempting to complete their magnum opus. In here, I shall describe each stage of how I create an epitome of my ideas to use these notes as a basis for a major and sagacious book. They say every one of Somerset's sapiarchs sorry, composes such a book, a dissertation. Only the really important research materials and profound treatises can be called dissertations. Interesting. I'm going to take that and I guess go back to Imp if I can. I mean, I'm tiny right now, so I don't know. Let's see what this Altmer Adventure armor looks like. I'm taking armor because it's 59 armor. It's kind of cool looking though. Okay. Oh, I'm big again. Okay, that is a really cool safe that I got very small in. But let's go look at uh, Imp. See what he has to say now that I found the journal. Hey, Imp, I found it. Oh, look at you with your eye. What can this humble clam do for ya? You mentioned a bunch of good stuff. What did you mean? Uh, what? Really? Uh, me said that? Uh, me told ya yes. me knows the exact location of these. Me didn't tell ya to go and fetch these. Savvy? Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Stop gritting your toots. Uh, I, ah, I, me knows the spot where them goodies lay. I hope so. Be more specific, Mr. Specific. Right, right. So, as far as you can see, me be stuck. So, my intel should be checked. There was this Giliata lass. She probes to tell two noble guests about the treasure. Giliata. Why does she eat pity? Okay. Where do we find this Giliata? Oi, what a serious, good-looking traveler me got in Michelle. No planning, no thinking, no tactics. So it's time for good old Imp to decide stuff. Aight. Okay. Me decided. Me be the squad captain. <laughs> yeah, be good-looking. So this Giliada hottie surely was snooping around, but me didn't see her lately. John, I need someone who has fresh intel. Goblins be fine. So, uh, goblins. yeah, opening the portal, right? M what goblins? What portal? Wait, what goblins? What portal? What? Which goblins? Yeah, generic goblins, me says. Green fellas, lacking in height, living in stones, doing stuff. Okay. Sounds like weaklings. Uh, portal, where to? Did you check these send me Aaron logs? As me asked. Uh, kind of. Seems uh, like nay. Or you're not a thorough type, uh, are ya? Okay, I didn't uh, read the whole the thing. The thing is, this right. lab is attuned to faceted stones, so opening a portal there'd be a piece of cake for ya. Them go faceted there. stones. Now portal much. I can't open portals. I don't know how to open a portal. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, you got me there. Ah, uh, wait a minute. You be serious? Oh, yes. Come on, what are they teaching you these days? When he was around last time, every driveler in Tamriel 
we're able to fast travel wherever them pleases. Well, I can fast travel. I just can't open a portal. Can okay, so what happens now? No portal, no treasure? Oh, look at this sad, good-looking fizz. Don't be upset. I am a sad, good-looking face. For 400 silver pieces plus a half or hundred in the way rest coins. Uh, what? I don't have way rest <laughs> coins. I don't even know what those are. I can pay you with gold. All righty then. 400 and a half solid gold, that is. Okay, but gold is more expensive than silver. All right, have your coins. I hope I won't regret this. I've never paid gold to a seashell before. I don't think I'll begin now. That one's funny. I'll now say that one. that's rude. Sorry. Well, yeah, it was funny. Agreed, but worth trying. Keep okay. Keep shinies, you greedo. Look at you and you don't pay greedo. to no seashell attitude. Now, looky here, good looking. Me think Simi Aran has them records about goblins, portals, and all this stuff. Go fetch them. Will ya? Make sure you glanced it proper like. Follow it to the letter like. Open the portal. Go to the blue horn. Piece of cake. Once there, we'll decide what to do. Move your crawlers, and don't you forget the key. Okay. Old imp will travel with you now. Use talk to imp ability to communicate with the creature. Yes! Whoa, he's gone. He's, where'd, he, where'd he go? Where'd it? Oh, he's on my shoulder. That is cool. I really hope you don't end up being bad, Imp, because I like you. But if you're evil, then, uh Okay, so how do I talk to Imp? Probably a power? Yes. Okay, so how do I use this power? How do I talk to Imp? No? Okay. I'm... Well, I don't have any magic in my hand, so obviously it's not equipped as a magic. Is it a shout? No. Or wait, maybe I need a dragon soul for that. No, it's, it's a power. See, like Summon Spectral Assassin, Assassin has you know, your hand and stuff. That one's a given power, it just happens. These are all pretty much powers that just happen. What is talk to Imp? What is... I don't know how to talk to him. Okay. Um, I think this is a good time to stop right now. Uh, the video is probably long enough. I don't know because I'm still new at this, but I'm going to stop now and put this up and kind of look into see how I can talk to Imp. If you know how, if you've played this before, no spoilers for me beyond this. But, uh, please, but tell me how to talk to Imp, because I don't know how. But I'll, I'll look that up, and we'll get to the point where we, where we can talk to Imp and read the journal and figure out how to open this so-called portal to the goblins. All right. Well, thank you for sharing some playtime with me. This is Mom, and I will see you after more chores. <sighs> Bye.